What is up, Job Squad? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to uh, Universe Mode, episode number 62. How are we on 62 already? I don't know. That is baffling. Absolutely blowing my mind. Here tonight, we're on SmackDown. Uh, we're going to do some Bray Wyatt versus Neville action. We're going to simulate through the rest of these matches, but we're just trying to get to SummerSlam as this is the last SmackDown beforehand. SummerSlam is coming up next, guys, but let's get through Bray Wyatt versus Neville. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Bray Wyatt making his way to the ring. Final SmackDown before he faces uh, Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. It should be an absolute slobber of a knocker. He's going to look to... He's gonna let them take out a little bit of frustration out on, uh, take out a little bit of frustration out. Why am I talking to him like, like an idiot? But he's gonna look and take a little bit of frustration out on the king of the cruiserweights, Neville. If he ever makes it to the damn ring. I mean, like, I like Bray Wyatt's entrance. It's just so time consuming at, 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 at points. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we just get there already? You gonna blow your thing out? All right, yeah, we get it, Bray. You're, you're you're there. You're there. We get it. We got you. He's got a nice shirt on. He's got his nice pants on. Here comes Neville, king of the cruiserweights. The world explodes. Is that what happens in the beginning? He has a new he has a new entrance, doesn't he, Bray? He doesn't do this shit anymore. Now that he's a heel, he doesn't do this. Throw the cape off. See, I like Neville's entrance. Watch. Here's why. Here's why. He just makes his way down to the ring. Right. Walks down there. Nice, quick pace. Right? I mean, he's not moving too fast. He's not moving too slow. But he's got it. He's there. He's in the ring. He makes sure his wrists are good. He's good. He's in the ring. Just like that. Top rope. Well, not top rope. Whatever. Second rope. You know? Says hello to the crowd. He's good. Good to go. All right, let's start the match. See, that's why I like Neville's entrance. Bray Wyatt's like, I got to do all this shit. I got to get my stuff in. Bray Wyatt versus Neville. One-on-one -on -one here on SmackDown, guys. We're not playing as either, man. We're going to go ahead and watch. Somebody recently commented on one of my old videos, like episode like 30 or something. And they're like, why can't you just watch? Every time you play, you win. I just like... For those of you that have, have, have watched... A majority of the episodes you should probably realize by now that uh, I don't always win when I play there's times where I lose and I meant to win but there's there's also times where I purposely lose just to just to further that story along just to give it a good little pushy push Neville standing shooting star press I feel like you shouldn't do a standing shooting star press Am I crazy? Like, you just shouldn't do those kind of moves. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't I just feel like it takes away from the actual shooting star press. That's all. I don't want stuff to take away from the shooting star press. Like, the real one off the top rope. I guess it's still impressive because it's off the top rope, but... Anything's impressive off the top rope. Not really. You ever watch somebody just, like, jump off the top rope and hit somebody with, like, a fist? So I could do that. I do that every day, man. Jump out of bed. Same thing, right? I mean, it's not as high. I've jumped off higher shit than the top rope, though. Right? Just to jump off. Well, I, I don't know. Whatever. I'm trying to, I'm like, I'm trying to think of, like, how I land. You know, usually, like, I don't just jump full force and, like, land on both my, I usually, you know, crouch down and jump off, you know, and use a hand and everything. But whatever. No, I guess, whatever. No, I've done that maybe in my younger days. I'm not as limber as I used to be, I guess you could say. Right? I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. Bray Wyatt beating the hell out of Neville, though. He's got a, he's got a few birds on his on his pants. I love that look. He's got the buzzards on his leg. He's got like the cracking out skin. Oh. Yawning. Snake skin. It looks like snake skin boots on. He's got a nice black tank top. He's got the tattoos. Neville. No tattoos, fully shaved, 
Nice clean attire. Everything matches. All the colors match. We gotta change Neville's attire, man. We gotta change his colors up. We gotta change that boy's colors up. He's always wearing red. What is that called? That's got a color, right? Maroon. That's the word I'm looking for. He's always wearing maroon, man. Always wearing maroon. Get off the maroon train, dude. What are you trying to do to yourself? I got the sniffles. Allergies are kicking up here in Michigan right now. They are kicking up. It's crazy how quickly my allergies kick in. It's like the trees outside, they're all still dead. They're all still dead. My allergies, they're not even, they're, I, they're, they've started. My nose constantly itching. Constantly itching. Oh, Sister Abigail already drives him into the mat. That's going to be it. One, two, and no, oh, Neville kicks out. Bray Wyatt calling for the buzzards. Calling for the family. The Wyatt family. Anyways, like I was saying. My allergies have started. Like, my nose is constantly itching. Ooh. The yawns have nothing to do with it other than the fact that I'm trying to reconfigure my sleep schedule right now. So, I've been sleeping, like, really weird schedule. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, so, my nose is always itching. I'm, like, I'm not sneezing as much as I, I can. Right? My eyes are not itching yet, but they will be. So, it's, like, allergies have already kicked in. I can feel it. I've got a sniffle 30 times a day. Blowing my nose does almost nothing. But the trees are all still dead. Like, there's nothing going on. I mean, I get it. I get how nature works, right? Like, shit's already pollinating. Other stuff's pollinating, right? And I get that. It's warmer out. So they're all starting to grow now. And that's when, that's when it hits me. That's when it hits me. That's when the allergies hit. Bray Wyatt, though. Let's get back to let's get back to the match. Let's stop talking about. It. Oh, he busted him open. He busted the poor guy open. Busted that poor man open. Double, double kick. Hits him with both the feet. Uh oh. Oh okay. Standing corkscrew. Standing. Uh, what is that called? One, two, and. Oh shoot. I thought Bray Wyatt was about to lose that one right there. I, I really thought he was about to lose that. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Anyways, uh, Neville to the top rope. Is he going to hit the red arrow? Here we go. That's it. That's it. Game over. One, two, and three. Just like that. Neville beats Bray Wyatt. Uh-oh. That's bad for Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt does not look happy after his loss. And there's Daniel Bryan to congratulate the man on his loss. Basically saying, if you can't beat Neville, how are you going to beat me at SummerSlam? We're going to find out which one of these two men becomes number one contender. Guys, don't go anywhere. We still got to simulate. Through the rest of the matches. Alrighty. Hideo and Tommy versus Jack Gallagher. Or Gallagher. Gallagher. I don't know. Ever since I watched Shameless, I, I always want to say Gallagher. But I feel, I'm pretty sure it's Gallagher. Anyways, Hideo and Tommy beats Jack Gallagher. Emma defeating Carmella. Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. These two men are going to fight at SummerSlam for the WWE World Championship. They've got to team up against the Lucha Dragons. Lucha Dragons, obviously, uh, a little better communication, I'd bet. They get the job done against Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. TJ Perkins defeats Tyson Kidd. And then the big one, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho getting a rematch from the last pay-per-view against the tag team champions of Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. Didn't go well for him last week. Didn't go good for them again this week. They get the rematch at the pay-per-view coming up. SummerSlam is next, guys. I promise you, you do not want to miss a single episode of this show. I've got some crazy stuff planned just to let you know something happens at SummerSlam. Make sure to tune in, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Universe Mode, make sure to leave a like. 
Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at JobberNation. This has been your boy until. Bye.